ball very, very quickly. Anderson in your picture once again. Very subtly, left foot kick driving straight to the big fellas. Oh, it's nearly a mark taken by Massey there. And he's played a free kick uh, and replaced by Combin. A big kick to goal there by the Carlton boys, but a drop line once again. As Combin has just gone on, Alan. Collins. Ian Collins, in turn, gets it down towards Robert Walls. Robert Walls oh. is trying to get kicked by Collins. This is a good kick. It gets, carries a lot of distance. Up goes Walls. Can't. And here's a big kick by Jezelinko right down towards the goal square. Beautifully judged by Massey. Thought it was a mark. Play on his call. Davis stood his ground well and nearly took the mark. It's Green busting his way through, but uh, has the ball going for him, but nothing else. His feet give out, and uh, the umpire is next on the spot. It's 61 points to 41 at the price and Kilda in the third term when they had the major use of the ball almost for the entire quarter. I thought they'd be the team that was uh, would be tiring. It seems that the Blues are. Yes, Tony, I, I think the little bit of added incentive of kicking with the last quarter has given them that little bit of kick they needed. There's Walls again. He kicks a that it's not St Kilda's day. They are not playing anything like the St Kilda side that uh, we know can play. Uh, everything seems to be going wrong for them, to wit that particular kick. Had they scored a goal there, it would have been a wonderful uh, a pipe opener to the final quarter, a big uh, spirit lifter for them, but uh, no, it was a point. Of course, Bulldog hasn't played, and Ian Stewart has just gone off the field during that... ...on the, on the Carlton defence. This ball is onto the half-forward flank. He kicked the scoring side of the ground. He kicks up towards the half forward line. Robert Walls in front. Oh, good mark, Walls. Good football, youngster. 65, 65 to 62. And kick right up, and it's around about centre half forward where they fran. I think that it's a mark for Walls. I would, call it, I would call it from here. He's a very improved player, this boy, and he settled into that position for a youngster particularly well he's a very cool player that was a nice mark under pressure goes for distance naturally it's distance it's going back by Alice however Alice kicks him towards the center of the ground coming down to meet it oh his walls he fumbles however but he gets around takes his kick oh it's a glorious drop kick to the pocket on the member stand side oh Robert Walls came out to take the good mark and immediately he went down this is frustration on the part of the Essendon forwards. That was Kent Fraser. You just can't pull up, Mike, when you're running in to uh, stop a fellow yeah, marking a football. Him do that this is right. This Walls takes his kick now. It's coming along the members. And he hits down nicely. Oh, left Walls a wide open running to goal. Slams at goal. It's turning, curling around. Blue. It's a good effort there, Butch, the young fella. Come down from the back line in this quarter to take up the pocket. Len Thompson and Lev go crashing out, and almost the mark of the match is taken by Wall. It is, and still the tenth is very frayed. You can see a little bit of niggling going on, but here's a kick by Walls in short, looking for Nickel. And Nickel's got the ball and steady. And my word, it didn't go the 10 yards, but the kick is going again. The 10, 15 yard penalty's been paid, and it's going to Walls. And this puts Walls within kicking range. On a fairly acute angle, he's right out on the boundary line, as you can see. And there's the scene in the goal square. Jenkin there, getting in front of Jones. This ball comes in, lines it up. My word, this is going to be close. It's a goal, oh, a magnificent goal. Walls make a late run out wide. It's perfectly delivered, Ryan Burke. And Walls takes the mark. And oh. Clifton over the top of him. These two youngsters are having quite a battle in all ways. That's one of the few occasions we... Nickel doing battle there, has a chance to grab the ball, decides to let it go. Ball's under pressure here when he gets the free, he will. Pushed in the back, plenty of Collingwood players there to deal with him, but they, they didn't deal with him very well. And the result was a free kick to Walls, and he kicked the beauty, the last two Collingwood. And uh, if he can do the same this time, Colling uh, Carlton will be in a pretty uh, sound position. Kick number 10 to Robert Walls as he lines it up from about uh, 35 yards out. Kick on its way. Oh, it's close. It's very close. It's there. A goal. Goal number two. Walls 